everybody. So I want to show you how to do a um, neckline adjustment. This is the Billy Top by, or yeah, Billy Top by Tilly and the Buttons. Um, I want to try doing this with the sleeve gather and with the um, the cuff gather, but in a Roma Ponte. So I have a piece of Roma Ponte here. Um, so it's a nice weight double knit and it has a bit of viscose in it, so it's a nice drape. And I think it'd be lovely with a scoop neck. So I'm just going to show you how I would actually measure out a scoop neck. So what I would do first of all is get some chalk. So I have chalk in a few colours here. Um, and I think a white piece of chalk is the best. And then I literally, I'm wearing the darker one of, of the this top so you can see how I'm going to do it. So I'm literally going to think, well, I want it to go to about here. And I'm going to literally draw on myself. Now, what you could do is, you could actually, can you see that? I'm just going to draw it on myself. Do this in the mirror. Or, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, now this is going to wash out because it's just chalk. About there, maybe a bit wider. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, get a top that you really like and just lay them, like literally put it on over it and you'll see how the neckline sits and then you could just stencil in from that neckline. So you can see there, I'm gonna go out at the shoulder. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and measure and then I'm gonna adjust the pattern. So this is my Tilly and the Buttons pattern. Just find the relevant pieces. So it's the front piece that we need. You can iron these if um, if they get all crumpled up and they won't sit flat. Okay. So I want to show you the um, the neckline as I drew it on. So I've had the top on me um, to see how that neckline would fit. And I had to look in the mirror and I was happy with where this is going to go. I'm just going to draw that on a little bit. Can you see that scoop of that neckline? So I'm coming down to about here. I don't think you can really figure this out flat, what you would like personally, unless you have a top that you've made um, or you're a pattern drafter. So I'm just going to measure down. Now, don't forget there's the seam allowance in there. So it's two, about, it's just under two and a half inches. So it's two and a half inches there. And then on the shoulder, it's two inches, so the scoop is going down. So that's quite a wide neck. I might just bring it in a little bit here. So maybe one and a half on the shoulder there. So I think that might, two might be a bit too much. And I'm just looking at the curve of that scoop. So can you see that there? So then we are going to transfer this onto the neckline. Of our pattern. So what we want to do is get a, ourselves a pen. I'm going to do this with a sharpie so that you can see it very easily but obviously a pencil will do if you're doing this at home. So don't forget that we have our seam allowance in there. So we go down um, our five eighths of an inch for our seam allowance and then it was two inches. So it was to here. Then the same here we've got a seam allowance in here. So five eighths of an inch seam allowance and one and a half. And then what I'm going to do actually is just measure a middle point and then just draw that curve. So it's one and three quarters is about the middle point. So five eighths of an inch and then one and three quarters. Now, if you're going to just freehand this, if you don't have a French curve, um, best thing to do is for your hand to be on the inside of that curve. Um, now, I'm cutting straight into the pattern piece here because I can just reprint one with the A0 printer. But uh, really, if you're just doing this at home, tracing paper and you can just trace it out again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw over this. If your hand is on the inside of a curve, it's easier to draw. If you have a French curve, use that. So I'm just going to freehand that curve. Now I'm looking at this shoulder here thinking that might be a little bit wide but then I 
don't forget you have that neck band that's in there which we will have to adjust because our neck is larger now so there's our new neck band so what I do then is I'm going to cut that out along here and then I'm going to um, cut out all my relevant pieces and then I'm going to show you how to make a neck band. See I'm just I've already cut out the uh, scoop from the billy front so here I have pinned down is the back part and if I just place it over and meet it, match up the shoulder lines it's actually where the notch is is where you see that there is where the shoulder meets so I'm just going to draw that curve to meet up so you're mimicking the curve that was here oh my pin <laughs> my pins are getting markers on them so I'm mimicking that curve there on the back of the neck and then I'm going to take a paper scissors and cut it out Now it doesn't look like a paper scissors, it's an old dressmaking scissors, but um, it's not good enough anymore. So then I'm just going to cut that new neckline along here. So then I have my back cut out and my front cut out. And then I just have to do my other pieces. So that's my front and my I back. I have the front and back of my Roma Ponte version of the billy with a wider neckline cut out so I'm turning it into a scoop neck I'm just gonna pop it over my head and you can have a look at what it looks like the actual width of the neckline now it does change the the top dramatically because you remember the billy it's more like a sweatshirt so we're turning this into a scoop neck so you can see there it's quite a scoop neck and it sits nice and flat and then we have to put the neck band inside that what you could do is you could make a facing for it but you'd have to take that into consideration when you're actually making it so i'll just take that off and i'll show you how then to measure this so taking the neckline and you get a measuring tape now i'm going to do i normally work in inches but i'm going to work in centimeters here purely because it's easier then to actually um to work out and take off your percentage which I'll show you now in a second. So we're just going to place our tape around the neckline. And you literally just go along the neckline. It's not an exact science. Um, there's a lot of stretch to this fabric. So you've got a lot of wiggle room here. And we're just going along that neckline. We measured there. So that's 31, okay? Did I measure that correctly? Oh, sorry. That's 29. <laughs> 29. So I'm going to just write this down and get my bit of paper and my Sharpie so that you can see it. So 29 inches, which in centimeters is 74. And then you have to add on your seam allowances. So it's, I'm, be, I'm using a half inch seam allowance here or five eighths of an inch. So we're talking about a 15 centimeter seam allowance. So you're gonna add on the seam allowance for both shoulders. So we add on three centimeters. So it's 77 centimeters. And then what you want to do is take away, can you see that, 10%. I'll just hold that up there. And you can see that. I'll put the description of how I do this in the box just so you have the mats. So I'm going to show you here on my calculator. So I just take my calculator out and I take 77 minus 10%. That's probably easy enough maths for everybody to do. So it's a 69.3 centimeters, 69 centimeters. Is the so that's going to be. So that's 69 centimeters, or if we do that in inches, say if it's 70, 27 inches. So 27 inches is what the length of our neckband is gonna be. Now it has to be smaller because it needs to pull it in. Otherwise your neckband will be standing up straight like, um, 
uh, kind of like a polo neck, which is what you would do if you needed a crew neck or a polo neck, something that's standing up. So when we attach this, I'm going to show you how to cut it out, but when you cut it out and attach it, if you find that it's not sitting flat enough, um, if this is the first time you've done something like this, tack it in place so you don't actually sew it in place or overlock it. Use a long stitch in a different colour thread, put it in place, try it on, that works okay, then go back over your stitches. Doesn't work okay, easy to take out. So I'm going to show you now how to make that neck band. So you have your 27 inches or 69 centimetres. So I'm just going to take the other side of it. We need to half that. So what did I say? It was 20, 27. So then that's 13 and a half. What if I take, I think I'm going to have to get two of these because we're basically making a little pattern piece here. So we've got 10 and 3 and a half is 27, so 13 and a half. You can see actually my, see the squares on my table, my mat, they are half, they are an inch, each one of those is an inch. And I'm actually going to use the background here to be able to draw out a pattern piece. So that's a straight edge. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and a half. Now, if we take our neck band, which is here on the billy, it's our regular billy neck band, it's a very small neck band on the billy, and this is the width that we want it to be. I'm just going to I'm using a sharpie here so that you can see it. Normally I do this in pencil. And just draw those across. And then we cut that out. Now we have to transfer markings here, don't forget, because at the moment it's just it's a bit of paper and you're going to forget what all these things are. So I'm going to write on this, Billy Scoop Neck. So it's neck band, neck band, cut one on fold. And we did have on our neck band a notch as well. We have a notch just there. And just like that, we have another pattern. Don't forget to put on your little arrows here so that you remember that is your neck band. Okay, so here is our neck band. So we cut it on the fold and then right sides together, I've just sewn those together. Then opening out that seam. Just gonna pin that together there. And then on the opposite end, I'm gonna place a pin. And then bring, take those two pins there. So you've got two pins. Bring them together. and on the other half marks, put pins. So basically then what we have is a neck band. Can you see those pins there? where it's all pinned all the way around, ready to go on. So then we do the same thing with the neck band because we don't have any notches here, don't forget, um, because we've recut the neck line. So take the two shoulder corners, place them together, and then you'll get the center front. Or sorry, this is the back, the center back. And then we do the same two shoulders together, pull it out like that center front. Now, 
once you have that what you can do is you take those two pins and you place them together and then you pull out at the uh, as far as you can what happens is then you get what another quarter on your neck that's where your notch would be and we do the same over this side pull it out so it's not on the shoulder because you've more of a scoop on the front than you do on the back so now you can see we have our quarters pin trying to hop out there so can you see those pins well we have the four quarters so we take the one with the seam and you put that to the back right so in the right side so on the center i always leave two pins in the back and that way i know i'm at the back when i'm sewing because sometimes when you're going around with these things you don't know where you are especially when it's all one color so i'm putting those two pins together see that because i've quartered it and put the pins in i just line up those pins take one out and pop it in get rid of the back one i'll do that again so there's one pin and the other pin I'm going to line them up and we work our way around make sure that's all lined up Okay, so what we have here now, if I lie it down flat, you'll be able to see it. We have our neck band in, but it's not uh, pinned, it's only pinned in four places. And what you really should have is quite a lot of pins going all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the two of those pins and just stretch a little bit. And then just grab the center of that. Make sure they're all, all your seam, all the edges are lined up. So you're just easing that neck band in, pulling it. This is where having long fingers comes in dead handy. So take between the two, pull. And again, on the last bit there. So now we've got our neck band has lots of pins all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew from here using a zigzag stitch and then pull gently between those pins and take them out as I go so that the underside is flat. And then I'm going to actually open out that seam allowance as I go all the way around. So I'm just going to sew that now. Okay, so I've done the neckline there, popped in the neckband. So you can see the neck band there it does need a press um, just to help settle in the stitches but it sits lovely and flat that's with 10% taken out now I you can see there if I show it up close I put a row of stitching just to hold the facing the inside of the neck band down and I'll show it to you if I just put it on I'll show you how this sits So it takes it in a little bit because of the neck band, but that's quite nice. Sits nicely around there. So the next step now is to put on my sleeves. So I just have to make my sleeves. I pop them on and then I go all the way under the arm and down the side and then the waistband and that's basically done then. So I'm just gonna sit now with a cup of tea and do all this gathering and then I'll show you. The so here it is my finished billy with the scoop neckline. I just come over and show you the scoop neck there. It's lovely, sits lovely and flat. I did find though that I may have not taken out enough because you can see how it's sticking up a little bit there. So usually it's between 10 and 20% that you take off the neckline. And um, I took 10%, just slightly over 10% for this neckline. But I, I think maybe we need to take a bit more. I would say it's probably about an inch if I can pinch a little bit more out of there. 
So I'm going to go for about the 20% on this. It all depends on the amount of stretch in that neckband and what it's going to pull in. And I obviously underestimated the stretch in this Roma Ponte. I'm really loving this. Really loving this. If we show you, if I show you here, this is my adapted Billy scoop neck, and I want to make it slightly smaller. So originally I had on it. So originally I had uh, taken off ten percent of the neckband. It wasn't enough because it's not sitting completely flat on the neckline. So if I take off. 20% that's my new calculations my previous calculations were that if I took off 10% this is 69 um, centimeters and I then obviously I went broke back from inches so 16 61 cent 61 and a half centimeters is what my band should be so if I half that then I work this out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down just to, to half so 60 so it'll be 30 centimeters so, get my pen. So it's actually 30 and three quarters. So it's about there. I'm taking it off this end so I don't have to. So I'm going to take it off this end here so I don't have to redraw any of this. Again, using my paper scissors, I'm going to cut that just there. Now I should have a little notch there too. So I'll just mark in my notch with a black pen. There we go. And that's going to be my new Billy neckband. So these things are a bit of trial and error and um, you are hacking a pattern. You're not making it from scratch and even people who do make them from scratch have to make adjustments. So I Next time I make this, I'll make it like it's not unwearable. I'm delighted with this top. I've actually worn it for a whole day already. And it's really comfy as well. I love, I love this sleeve. I'm convinced about these sleeves. Wasn't convinced at the start, but I'm absolutely delighted with it. So if you want to change your billy neckline, I think it looks a little bit more dressy, a little bit less casual. Um, you could even do it in a lighter jersey, um, just for a top rather than a heavy jersey like this. And you'll get more drape on the or drape drape on the sleeve, and I took off two inches. I think I mentioned that before. Took took off two inches from the sleeve. If you took take off less than you need, it would give you a bit more pooling here, so a bit more drape. It's absolutely gorgeous. So best of luck if you try this, and um, if you want to know any details about how I did this, just put them in below, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my next tutorials. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.